What's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of KJ All Day. And I'm sure you guys heard the news by now. And yes, it is true. I am the new linebacker assistant coach slash defensive quality control coach of the San Francisco 49ers. I am thoroughly excited. I am really, really happy for this opportunity. I'm really, really happy for the Niners organization believing in me, um, trusting me with their franchise, and um, competing against those guys since day one. My first ever NFL game was against the Niners. And I remember after that game, my dad coming up to me saying, man, you think you can play in this league? I said, heck yeah, I know I can play in this league. It was going against the Niners. And here I am 13, 14 years down the road about to be coaching for him. And so um, to Kyle Shanahan, to John Lynch, the 49er faithful, I'm excited. I'm ready to roll. It's going to be really, really fun. And to the fans, y'all, y'all knew this. Y'all, y'all know listening to me. Y'all know when I did my KJ's Corner, when I'm just talking about ball. This is what my heart is. Um, my heart is in coaching. My heart is in building something special, teamwork, camaraderie, going through the ups, going through the downs finding a game plan to be successful. Like, this is what I this is what I do. This is what I've been called to do. And even when I was a player, we used to have our Tuesday meetings. Who you think, who you think got the cowboy clicker? I'm running the meetings, telling guys what to see, what to look for, what this team does well, what, how we can expose them. I've been doing this since I was playing um, in the NFL. But to now actually put that coaching hat on, get that whistle, <laughs> create drills, um, really bring out the best and anybody I come in contact with, I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. And um, yeah, so get out there soon. No, well, today's, what's today? Today's Saturday, get out there soon and uh, go to work. With the, with the all day fans, um, thank y'all. Last season was everything. Last season was amazing. Just we started in April, and here we are in February. What we created, the times that we had, the the laughs with uh, <laughs> Josiah, Patty, Daddy, Cat, uh, Mohammed. Like we, we was really, really rocking hard this, this past season, and I enjoyed myself. I had a good time, Sunday night live stream, breaking down film, bringing on my teammates, Cliff, Doug, Jermaine, Tyler, Quandre, uh, Big Red, me back, like the list goes on and on with the stories that I brought you guys. And my goal for starting this podcast was to do just that, to, um, to tell our stories, to, to, to really express the truth not no fluff that you see. This is a real truth. And it got me in trouble. Got me, it got my ass in a lot of trouble. But um, I know that y'all appreciated it. I know that y'all would resonate with it well. Y'all were like, if y'all saw that I was fluffing, G would call me out. Y'all would call me out. And um, so thank y'all. I really do appreciate y'all. And to G, G Scott, just to let y'all know the real this wasn't my idea. I think I told y'all this before. This Starting this podcast was not my idea. G came up to me, said, hey, man, you need, you need your own stuff. And um, I'm telling you, man, the way, G, the way you brought out the best in me, the way you challenged me, the way I was yelling at you, getting mad at you, vice versa, the laughs we had, like, I truly, truly thank you. Um, you know, you mean the world to me. You was the first person I told about this new journey I'm taking. And, um, but I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, how how my dog G go receive this news? But the way you received it, it definitely meant a lot to me. So, um, thank you for this past season. Like, man, you, you know, you know, we, G, we told Stories that nobody ever heard. We talked sunflowers. We talked to Golden. We talked to like Jermaine. Like we really talked about some stuff. 
and just brought it to the city. We brought it to the city of Seattle. We talked to Coach Carroll, Super Bowl. We talked literally everything. And this was really, really fun. Really, really fun. Breaking down film, setting me up for success. You said, KJ, I'm just going to throw up the lob. You slam dunk it. Boom. (laughs) Did just that. And so um, appreciate you. To the producer, Money Mike, job well done. Job well done. He, I remember when I first sat down with Money Mike and Lorenz, they, they, they was a part of from since day one. Man, this going to be big. This thing going to blow up. We got the social media part, the long form content. The short. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? What is long form? What is short form? But um, the way he worked tirelessly to edit this stuff up, to get it out on time, I was on his ass. Hey, Monday morning, 7 o'clock, what, what we got? And um, truly appreciate you, Money Mike, for what you did with the graphics, with the planning, reaching out to sponsors, um, setting up meetings, taking it to Super Bowl, this whole setup he created. And so um, job well done to, to Money Mike as well. And so, um, yeah, man, this is uh, it's real. It's exciting. And I can't wait to get started. This this coaching thing has been calling my name for the very longest. And I was fighting. And I was like, no, no, what? <clears throat> but um, when God calls you to do something, you got to use your gifts. Use your gifts for the betterment to um, you know, make the world you know, a better place, to use your gifts to, to impact people the right way. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm called to do. And uh, my name is Coach K. It ain't Coach KJ. It ain't Coach Wright. Call me Coach K. That's uh, that's 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 what I'm rocking with. So I can't wait to get started. Be a part of a championship culture to bring um, to, you know, get another Super Bowl to my resume, to climb that ladder. Like I got big, big aspirations for what I want to do next with this career. And um, this is step one. This is step one. And um, yeah, man. How long was that money? Like eight minutes. Damn, that's just eight minutes. I feel like it's talking about thirty <laughs> minutes. Um, and so, just to uh, just to address the elephant in the room, you know, how this happened? Like, how this happen? You know, how did all this occur? Just know that. Just know that. In life, when you plan for something, you have this vision for something. Like God can say no. You know, people can say no. Um, doors can get shut. You know, right in front of you. And you got to look at it like, okay, no, it's not happening. What do I do next? Like, what does God have in store for me? And so just the power of prayer, the power power of networking, the power of not taking no for an answer. Like, you got to find a way to move. You got to find a way to adjust. You go into it with a game plan. The game plan don't work. You can't sulk in it. You can't sit in, in your sorrows. What's the new game plan? How do I move and operate now? And so um, I've been mastering that my whole life. Um, I've been told by coaches in high school. Y'all know my favorite story. You know, my coaches in high school told me that you making it to Division One, top Division One football, yeah, chances are slim. Don't even think about the NFL. And so I've always believed in myself. Um, I always believed in what I'm capable of. And I know this next chapter going to be phenomenal. Listen. Phenomenal. And so um, it's going to be fun. Going to have a good time. And um, can't wait. Can't wait to get started. So to the fans, thank y'all once again uh, for rocking with me this past year. G, Money Mike. Um, we did it. We did it for a quick hot minute. And um, there's there's no telling what we could have took it. But um, for me personally, this is, this is really where my heart is calling. So. Um. Any questions, Money Mike? <laughs> I told the I told the, uh, the producer to ask me some questions because y'all know it's hard for me to just talk to a camera. But um, Money, what could the fans be thinking right now? What could they? They probably shocked. They shocked and mad. Probably. Yeah. Um. Like you going to the Niners. Yeah. Um. Well, there's there's no, really no reason to be mad because I think that. Everybody that knows me knows my heart. I think everybody knows that 
Um, people want me to be happy. You know, you, you guys want me to be happy, right? You want me to be in a good mental space, right? And so um, opportunity presented itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, opportunity really presented itself, and it happens quick. It happens so quick. Like when you get that that call, it's like, oh, it's like draft day all over again. Mm-hmm. Like draft money. I was like sweating. I was like. <laughs> Sweat and dripping up money. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? What was that phone call like? Um, crazy enough to do this? Heck yeah, I am. I'm ready. It's been calling my name for a while. Um, I know I'm well respected. Mm-hmm. Every time I played the Niners, that was like, if you go play any good game, KJ, of this season, you got to play well against the Niners. And so um, just the NFC championships, the back and forths, the – Monday night football, Sunday night footballs, reading those screens that they tried to run to George Kittle. Now, those are some good memories. Those are some good times. So this isn't some, you know, vendetta move. No, this is a really cool opportunity. Really cool opportunity for me. So get out there soon and just get started. Get my little cubicle. Get, me, get some clothes. Get the family situated. Um, call mom, call dad, grandma shouting, call the homeboys, everybody, my sister, uh, talk to the kids. You know, this is a journey, bro. This is like, this ain't just me. I got four other people uh, that's lives are impacted as well. Got a dog. My dog's sitting right here. (laughs) Got a dog about to go to the bay. But, um, with the kids, Otis is in high school. Like this isn't just coaching. Like this is real life. Like other people's mm-hmm. lives are impacted by this. And I take obviously I want to put my family first. I then I talked to my wife, like, she was supporting since day one. And I was like, man, you know, the hours, but she's like, babe, if you're in a good space, they'll be in a good space. She wanna be super mom anyway. She really she really low key glad I'm gonna be gone for thirteen hours after the day. I already know she is. Get your get your ass up out of here. I got it, I can hold it down. But um, so I truly support her. I truly thank thank her for her support as well. And so it's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. So what else the fans thinking, man? What else could they be? What could it be going through their mind? Okay. Yeah. This is this is yeah. This is. I did the media thing for two years. Did that for two years. Loved it. I really did. I loved my radio show with Brock and Salk. Thank y'all. We kicked ass these past two years. Um, I loved this podcast. I loved calling. I called one game. So I didn't know what I'm. I didn't know what to do when I'm retired. I'm when I'm retired from coaching. I'm gonna call games because that was really really fun. And so I had a blast with that. But um, it's time. It's it's time. It's go time. You know, third year retired. You know, what's next? This this is what's next. You know, good fan base, good spot, close. Mm-hmm. Don't gotta go way across the the country. But um, who knows what's next for me? I'm gonna do my best, as always. Give, dedicate my life to this, and um, kick some ass. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Y'all, our producer looking real sad right now. <laughs> he looking sad as shit. I'm still shocked, but I'm excited for you. Yo. I think I think it'll be good. Can they hear you? Yeah, they can hear me. They can hear you. Yeah. Maybe what's next for the podcast? I mean, does it stop here? Is there? We was talking about that before the show. Like, like we we built something. Really did build something. Maybe take it to a company. Hey, we really built this platform. Like we built this fan base. We said 40,000? 40, 40,000 subscribers. 40,000 people are right here for you. They just want something real. They want something raw. They want something insightful. Um, I think it's taking it to 710 and like, hey, 710, you got your radio show. Hey, 710, here's a podcast. You know, I know they want to get digital. They want to to take it to a new level. You can have one big thing, but here's a, here's another layer that we have under our umbrella. Hey, take take the take this to 
to the football field right after instant reactions. Instant reactions. And so I think that would be something really cool. Um, they got a great personality in the building that could do it. I know, I know a guy that could do it, have interviews right after. I think it'll be a no-brainer, personally. Mm-hmm. And so um, I, think that's, I think that's the best next thing for it, to not let it just disappear. Mm-hmm. Rebrand it. Obviously, it can't be KJ all day, but rebrand it. Take it to a new level. So, yeah, I ain't want to take too much of your time. Just wanted to just share the news with y'all. You see me face to face here from me. I'm excited. Really am excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And so, KHK, oh, not KHK, Coach <laughs> K is uh, coming to the sideline. Hey, we're going to see you in Seattle, Bay. too. Yeah. When you come to town, I'll be here. <laughs> I will be here. And uh, yes, it's crazy. Like, do I be in the booth? Do I be on the sideline? Like, you know, get my linebackers ready. Like, getting them in, in flow state, getting them in game mode. Like, it's go time. It's time to go to, time to, go to battle. And I've been in their shoes before. I know what they're feeling. I know um, what's going through their minds. I know how to, you know, push, push their buttons just to really just bring out the best in them. And so, one of my favorite people of all time, Ken Norton Jr., <laughs> three time Super Bowl champion in a row. He, um, I'm going to take a lot from him. I'm going to take a lot from um, Coach Carroll. I'm going to take a lot from Dan Quinn, from Gus Bradley, but create, obviously, my own style. Like, who is KJ? And I'm going to find that out um, real soon. I got to create my own style, have my own identity, my own personality. And um, that's why they brought me on, because they trust me. They believe in me. And um, they, know I can, they know I'm the man for the job. So Nick Sorensen, uh, the deepest of coordinator, familiar with him. Went against these guys plenty of times, and so can't wait. So appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all. And the show was awesome. We're going to figure out how to keep this thing going, all right? Uh, Much love to y'all. I'll see y'all. Thank y'all for all the love and the support.